pack your Halo 4 ammo crate lunchbox, and fill your power-up flask, because I'm Jake and this is episode number 27 of Game Loot. Destroy your enemies and the world with a Thor's hammer necklace. Then invite the survivors over for some Zelda Monopoly. After winning, reward yourself with gaming medals that feature different consoles so you can pick your favorite. Use the rest of your rupees to purchase a $7,499 life-size Boba Fett statue to guard your gear. Or protect it with a golden eye proximity mine belt buckle that lights up. However, if you have a lot of change after those transactions, then an arcade belt buckle might be better. And you can't rock an arcade belt without a $3,290 wooden portable arcade system. The Arcader is a handmade, limited edition, and incredibly good looking console that can play games from systems like PlayStation 1, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Game Boy, Neo Geo, and Genesis. If you don't feel like spending the equivalent of 2,367 Dorito Locos Tacos on a handheld, then try the GCW Zero an open source console that can emulate multiple systems or can be used to create your own games. But why not stick to the classics and shell out some dough on a Nintendo that has been modded into a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle party wagon? It's awesome! Then position that work of art next to some of these awesome 8-bit and beyond prints from Bottleneck Gallery. Use a Walking Dead letter opener to slice a creeper in half and see its anatomy. And then put it down gently on a Dota 2 Nature's Profit plush. Before going out, make sure you have enough coins in your Mario wallet, strap into custom video game shoes by Bob's Maid, and a Deadpool cardigan. Or if it's just your midsection that's cold, there's Nintendo belly warmers. For a large amount of warmth, grab a Colossus Titan Snuggie. Or maneuver into something a little slimmer with Attack on Titan Scouting Legion leggings. And finish it with a Mortal Kombat shirt. But let's dust off that portal gun fossil and teleport someplace warmer like Hotline Miami. Figures. You can back it on Kickstarter to grab one of the jacket collectibles with four removable heads. Then go out on the town in some Marvel heels and one of these cool Star Wars dresses or tops from We Love Fine. If you end up finding the droid you're looking for, pop the question. Block ring. Because it is your destiny, Duke MK44 hand cannon that you can 3D print and put together yourself. Or get pre-assembled. Of course you'll also need a DIY Star-Lord helmet so you can shield your eyes from the awesomeness of these Mega Man prints by Jordan Mendenhall. And this incredibly detailed Titanfall Atlas figure complete with pilot. For more figures and collectibles, there are my friends Toy Pizza, who make super rad videos about all the amazing toys you can get for games like Mario, Minecraft, Zelda, or Call of Duty. I spend a lot of time sneaking into their place and playing with their action figures, and not putting them back. Grab all that loot and stuff it into your Game Boy backpack, or find links to the loot in the description below. Also, before you go, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have noticed that we hit 2 million subscribers. Nicolas Cage is very excited about it. And this is mind-blowing to me. It hasn't even been two years yet for Vsauce 3's existence. And I just... It's really cool that there are rad people who want to watch the stuff that I make and have similar interests as me because it's nice to know you're not alone. So thanks, really, for watching. And I'm going to phrase it like the Vsauce way just so we can keep with brand. And as always... Thanks for watching. For realsies.